Yo, what's up, guys? This is Atrix here. Welcome back to a new video. Skyline emulator test on MediaTek uh, Dimensity processor. So this device right here is Vivo V27 Pro. It has Dimensity 8200 processor with 8 GB of RAM. Today we'll be testing out multiple games on Skyline emulator on this device. Uh, some of them will be low end, some of them will be high end, and I'll be talking about the best settings later on. So before starting. Uh, you can see I am injured <laughs> so I am still making this video a like would be really appreciated with that being said let's get started through today's video one cool trick this device can do is change colors so right here I have an UV light let's test out so yeah it's true guys uh, and this is self healing I guess it will come back to its original color later on so let's get back to our testing for today's video I'll be using Skyline Edge I won't be doing this test on the normal version of Skyline emulator because nowadays everyone uses Skyline Edge let's just go ahead and open settings and here let's uh, enable our best settings dock mode will be enabled show performance statistics aspect ratio stretch to fit post triple buffering is enabled afterwards executor slot count scale i'll keep it at 4 and 256 and you'll notice that i can't actually enable the force maximum gpu clocks because my device does not support forcing maximum gpu clocks as this device has a mali gpu not an adreno gpu now let's go back enable fast gpu read back and writes uh, we cannot use gpu driver configuration option so we can't add custom drivers as it's only supported for adreno as it's only supported for devices with snapdragon processor now to start off we'll take a look at sonic mania because it's basic game but as you can see we are just getting 0 fps and a black screen i guess that's a issue because i enabled a uh, use direct memory import option so i'll be disabling this option for today's testing now let's reopen Sonic Mania and hopefully it works now. Yeah, make sure to disable direct memory import if your game gives you a black screen. So Sonic Mania has successfully started and we are getting straight up 60 FPS as you can see at the top left corner. There we go, the game has successfully started. Again at the top left side you will see the amount of FPS that we are getting which is around 60, stable 60 FPS. So Sonic Mania absolutely works on this Dimensity processor. Now let's move on towards some more high end games. This time I'll be testing out Animal Crossing's New Horizon. It recently started working on Skyline Edge. If this game works, we can assume that few other games like Super Mario Odyssey and Pokemon Sword will also work. But I guess the game has frozen. Nope. It's it started guys. And that too with decent FPS 25-26. That's pretty cool. Let's see if the graphics are being rendered properly. Yeah guys, Animal Crossing's New Horizon also works. On MediaTek Dimensity 8200, we are getting around 28 to 29 FPS. You can see there are some flickering issues and I think that's only native to uh, the Dimensity processor because I don't see any kind of flickering issues on Snapdragon uh, devices. 30 FPS is pretty decent, not going to lie at all. It's almost flagship level, but I don't actually have a save file for Animal Crossing loaded on my device right now. So I'll go back. Let's test out Pokemon Tournament DX. Here we go, the game has successfully started and again we can see some texture flickering issues. Unfortunately, I think the game freezes right here uh, when we actually try starting a practice battle. So Pokemon Tournament DX may give you some freezing issues on a Dimensity processor. Let's try Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu now. And this game should probably work. So the controller issue as always, let me disable dock mode. Let's reopen the game now. And yeah, now we can actually choose the controller. Let's click on confirm. Again, uh, I would recommend you guys to use save file in all these games if you are trying to emulate them. Without a save file, you'll have to uh, just face a lot of freezing issues with cutscenes, etc. And here I am actually seeing a black screen. So let me try adding a save file and I'll be back. So I have added a save file. Let's start our game again and see how well does it actually work. Pokemon. Okay, let's see if it actually renders some graphics. Alright, yeah. Graphical output is present. Let me click on the A button and let's start or continue our progress. And there we go guys. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu working with graphical output at straight up 30 FPS on a Dimensity processor. So uh, and it looks pretty well too guys. Not going to lie at all. The game is looking way better than it would actually on a Snapdragon processor. So let me zoom in. You can see it's actually an immersive uh, experience. Let's return to Pokeball. Okay, let's go back. Stable. Uh, 20 to 30 FPS which is 100% playable if you are thinking about buying an Android device with Dimensity 8100 or 8200 processor then I definitely recommend you guys to go with it so this was let's go Pikachu let's go back so let's try Pokemon Scarlet now let's click on the game okay so it just crashed let's try opening again and it's crashing again now I do believe that uh, Pokemon Scarlet only works really well with uh, Qualcomm version 676 driver 
uh, 676.12 driver but as this device does not have an Adreno GPU we can't use those custom GPU drivers and hence Pokemon Scarlet is incompatible at least for now. In conclusion I like to tell that you can definitely try out emulating games like Pokemon Sword, Super Mario Odyssey uh, and also Animal Crossing New Horizon on this device but games like Pokemon Scarlet, Legends Arceus may not really work well. Brilliant Diamond should probably work but other than that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will not work and Resident Evil should also possibly work on this device. But I'm pretty sure Skyland team will optimize their emulator for Mali GPUs later on in future. It will take time but whenever it happens I'll make sure to inform you so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification because I bring similar videos on my channel. With that being said thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button and yeah the color has came back. So see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.